Welcome to today's meditation. For whatever day of the week it may be, maybe just today for you. And today we're going to be focusing predominantly on a, va a vata balancing. We're going to be using a bit of mantra in today's practice. And then we'll move to a bit of breath work. From there, perhaps some subtle awareness. The next 10 or 15 minutes, it always ends up taking longer than I plan. But today we'll start with a mantra. Um, so let's find a, a seated, comfortable position. Feeling our sitting bones on the ground. Rolling the shoulders back, placing the hands either face up, inviting expansion and growth, or hands down, symbolizing groundedness, a desire to ground a bit more. And whenever choice we make, just notice as we make that choice, if we can invite a bit more of that quality into our practice today. If we can invite a bit more of that quality into our life and into our being. See if we can embody that quality, groundedness, or embody that expansiveness. And we'll start with a mantra, and if you'd like to sing along, you're more than welcome. I'll demonstrate, and we'll do five rounds of this mantra. And I'm going to sing it five times. And if you'd like to join it at any point, you're more than welcome. There are many benefits to singing, to using our audible voice to create harmony and vibration within the body. But even if you just sit quietly and sing along in your mind, there are many benefits. So we'll take an inhale and exhale. Connecting with the internal being, Om, like the dial tone of the universe. Nama, I give blessing and honor. Shiva, the God of oneness, of unity, of everythingness. And we'll do five rounds. Oh, Om. Namaha Shiva Just taking a few moments to sit in subtle awareness. And just noticing any changes in the body. Any subtle changes. 
as we truly give tribute and pay respect to the divine oneness in each and every one of us. So easy to get caught up in the I, in the me, in the individual. That taking time to really honor our oneness, our connectivity, our connectedness in this universe. And just notice any expansiveness in your body or any groundedness in your body as we continue our practice. And we'll move into stair-step breathing. A pranayama, a life force control. Our breath, life. Yama controlling, our life control, practice, life energy. And the way this technique will work, stair-step breathing, is we'll inhale for six seconds and exhale for seven. And we'll inhale for seven and exhale for eight. Inhale for eight, exhale for nine, and we'll continue from there. And before we start, let's take a quick vibrational breath. We'll inhale and audibly exhale. Ah, oh. Letting any tension out, we'll do one more inhale. Ah, sinking into the body. We'll take one more inhale. Ah. Our next inhale will be six seconds. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holding for just a moment at the top. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, seven, first the stomach. Then the chest. Three, two, hold at the top. Exhale, first the chest, then the stomach. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for eight, seven. The stomach expands, the back ribs expand. Four, three, Two, holding at the top. Exhale for nine, eight. Notice any changes in the body. Five, four, as we exhale. Two, one. Inhale for nine, eight, seven, six, five. Slowly, three, two, Hold to the top. Exhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We'll do that round again. Inhale, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. Vibrational breath out. Ah. Inhaling, exhaling. And just noticing the body start to breathe itself and just noticing. Any changes in the body? as it inhales and exhales. Where did we start today's practice and where are we right now? Let's be in the here and now. 
and checking in with whatever intention we had at the beginning with our hands. Maybe asking ourselves the question, how can I be even more grounded? What would it feel like to be even more grounded? What would it feel like to be even more expansive? With groundedness comes expansiveness. Our strong foundation allows us, allows us to reach great heights. Our deep roots nourish a great tree. And taking just a few more moments of subtle awareness, scanning the body. Yeah. And we'll slowly bring our hands to prayer position in front of our hearts. Slightly bowing in gratitude. A gratitude for this oneness, this beautiful interconnectedness of the entire universe, and a gratitude for being a very significant little piece in the story, in the tale of this universe. Just asking ourselves the question before we continue on with our day. In my chapter in this book about the universe, what can I do to make this life more meaningful? To dance through this life? To give light in this chapter? When we touch one thing with great awareness, we touch everything. The enlightened in me sees and honors the enlightened in you. Namaste.